<laughs> Welcome. It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we got an awesome new piece of hardware from none other than Red Panda Mining. We're going to set this thing up. We're going to get it mining. We're going to see how well it does. Without further ado, let's spin that intro. Pew! All right, all right. Today we're finally going to go set up our Rack 2 Hotspot Miner. Again, this came from none other than the Red Panda Mining. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing set up, and then we'll have to have him help us because it's going to have to be transferred anytime you get a used hotspot. If it's already been registered on the network, it has to be manually transferred from the owner to the new owner. So let's get started and see how this goes. All right, so here it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the getting started guide, the Rack Hotspot Miner. So right here, we open it up and this is what it shows. It says connect the antennas and then the power supply. Attach the correct antennas to the antenna ports. When you're ready to set up your Rack Hotspot Miner, plug in and connect the included power supply to the USB port on the Rack Hotspot Miner. After 30 seconds, the device should be ready to configure via the app. So let's go ahead and look what we got in here. Looks brand new. Panda takes care of his thing. So here is the power supply. Let's see what it looks like here. There is our power supply, standard looking plug with a USB-C plug on the end. And here is our nice little hotspot miner. And let's get out our antenna. Standard nice little antenna here. And I have heard that you could easily over tighten these and mess up your threading and mess up your antenna basically. So you don't want to use any tools tightening these, hand tighten only. So now let's pop it up. There is our antenna. And this is just what we're going to start with. We'll hook it up in my garage because that's where i'm going to run the actual hotspot out of and then eventually i'll run a nice really long uh, ethernet cable out the window and then we're going to run it up the side of the building and then that way we'll be up onto the roof on the side and we'll get a lot higher of a travel and hopefully we can witness i don't know in my rural area if we'll actually get to witness to anybody else Hopefully we can connect to some other hotspots. I know there are some in the city kind of close, so we'll see. Um, definitely going to have to get a new antenna kit outside of the standard one. But there you go. Let's go ahead and move to the garage and go ahead and plug this thing all in and then we'll go from there. Before we go and start hooking this thing up in the garage, let's go ahead and download the app create ourselves a wallet, generate our 12 phrase seed. And then from there, once you already have the app set up, you plug this guy in, you get it hooked to the network, you get it hooked to the power, and then you go ahead and push this nice little button here to sync, then use the app, push the button there to find it. Once it connects to the app, that is when you can start to witness. In my case, that is when I'll have to have Red Panda transfer the hotspot over the ownership. All right, so now we have it unboxed. Let's do the next steps. The next steps right here on the back. Set up your Rack Hotspot Miner in three easy steps. Step one, download the Helium app. Right here on the back, they include a nice little QR code. Once we download the app, it will have us set up a new Helium wallet. Basically, it will give us, it will generate us a new one and it will give us a 12 word seed or phrase so that we'll use that as our own password. And that's what you'll need in case you ever lose access to your app to get back into your Helium miner. So that is very important to write that down and inside the book gives you a nice little sheet to write down your 12 word seed phrase. 
So then once you have the app set up and you have the network ready, then it will be able to transmit from this guy. So we'll hit the button here to pair it to the app. Once it's paired to the app, then it can start to do its thing and we can start trying to earn some revenue. However, again, this one needs transferred. So once I have it set up and I have it connected, I'll have to have my man Red Panda transfer the ownership. And this is the case whenever you're transferring or you're buying a used helium hotspot, make sure you know that the owner has to transfer it if it has already been put on the network and there is a fee associated with said transfer. This is very important if you buy a used one off eBay and that seller is not going to transfer it. You bought in a very expensive brick because it needs to be transferred in order to work. Let's go to the garage. Here we are in the top secret mining lair where we will be installing the Rack 2 Hotspot Miner. There she is. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm just in a really messy garage that I happen to keep mining rigs in. Eh. Here is our Arbiter build once again, and if you haven't seen it, check out our video on that. It has two 6800 reference models and six 6700 XT models, and then right above it is our Grunt build. This has a 6x6600 six XT, all different models. And then here is our access point that we're just using a cheap TP link and it's actually just connecting to the main router inside of the house and then using it as a hard line to both these rigs and now to our new Rack 2 hotspot miner. As you can see, I went ahead and hooked the network cord up on this thing here. And we do have blinking lights, so we have connectivity. And then we have our antenna and we have our power plug which is just a USB-C ran into our power strip which runs up to this outlet that I put in on the ceiling because it was convenient. Eventually what we'll do is once we get this thing going we're going to run a really long antenna cable outside and we're going to run this thing way up top to the roof so we can try to get a witness. All right so next we went ahead and set up our app let's take a look at it. All right, I don't generally like to record the phone with a camera or a screen with a camera, but that's what we're going to do for this. I went ahead and already created my 12 word phrase, my seed, and then I wrote that down on paper so that I have that stored. And then I also set up a pen number and I had to push in the pen to get into the app. And this is where we're at. Now it wants us to add a hotspot right there. And let's go ahead and do a hot spot. But first, we're supposed to push this sync button up here. Let's try to do this one handed. So I've pushed the sync button. And now let's see if it will find this guy here. What kind of hot spot do we want to add? Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's see if it's on here. Rack hot spot right there. And then it says, place it in a good place, blah, 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 don't hide it, buildings can block the signal, and finally hate, okay, I've read the guide. Um, diagnostics, I understand. I'm powered up. Bluetooth is automatically enabled for five minutes after racked hotspot miners powered on. Hotspot can take up to one minute to be fully booted. Now let's scan. Helium needs access to your location for Bluetooth discovery and to able it. We want to do that. Hit OK. And then we want to allow it. And now it is a scanning. Let's see if it finds it. It found it. Look at that. Found it pretty quick too. It says one found. Let's go ahead and click that one. And now it says connecting to Helium Hotspot. Um, and then it says, it's got my networks here, so I'll just blur those out. And it says, select the Wi-Fi network you'd like your hotspot to connect to. Um, I guess. 
Uh, I just pick either of them. Let's go with this one. And then I gotta put in a password to my network. Okay. I'm connecting to network. And it says, this hotspot already has an owner. Perhaps you're hosting it for someone else. Following a hotspot allows you to monitor the hotspot within the app when you don't own it. Okay. If you think you're the hotspot owner, i.e. you bought it, contact the manufacturer. And so I guess I have to exit now. And now I have to actually reach out and do the transfer from my friend, Mr. Panda. All right, I just wanna go ahead and put a bow on this thing. Uh, we finally got it all transferred. I had to go back and forth with Red Panda a few times to actually get that accomplished. And to get it transferred, he actually had to send me some HNT and then that covered the fee and it was, it was not that easy of a process. He had to transfer on his end and then I had to accept the transfer and then I had to resync and then I had to pay the fee to get it online um, with the HNT. And then since that time, I've been making about a whopping 30 cents USD per day with my setup. And here's an example of some of the rewards. I don't know if that's gonna show. but it's not very good. The rewards for this are being pretty terrible. Then again, I'm using the stock antenna on the rack too. It is in the garage. It's not near a window. I have ordered a $70 5.6 decibel, really nice long um, fiberglass antenna from rack and it actually is already delivered. And then I ordered a nice low loss, high gain antenna cable to go with that so that I'm not losing signal running it for a long distance. I'm gonna run it at least 20 feet. I think it's a 20 foot cable. I'm gonna run it out the garage and up the side of the house and hopefully to the top of the house and that way I can get out and up. I'm only connecting to one other hotspot because I live in a rural area. I'm hoping that I can pull in all five or six that are in the immediate area. And I think that about covers it. I want to again thank Red Panda for getting me this piece of hardware that is so hard to obtain. And I want to thank you guys for sticking along with me. Let's go ahead and cut to that outro. Thanks. <laughs> well, there you have it. The Rack 2 Miner, it is set up, it is mining. It's not making much of anything. I'm really hoping that once I add the new antenna and the new cable and we get this thing connected to some other hotspots, we'll actually be making some real rewards. But for now, hey, we got it set up. And I want to say again, thank you to Mr. Red Panda. I really appreciate you. And make sure to go over and check out all of his content every single day. This dude cranks out the best content. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.